are Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus, <clears throat> book one, The Lightning Thief of You. So we're just going to say some likes and dislikes, and I'm joined with my brother Joshua. So let's start by rating it. I rate it 10 out of 10. What about you? I rate it 10 out of 10 too. And what are some of your likes? I like that it's about the Greek gods, and you know how Percy's a son of Poseidon, and like... How that he has powers? The gods are in it. Yeah, and how he has powers. Yeah. And like the gods are like really cool. Yeah. And so like the demigods and learning about the Greek mythology and like all the monsters in it and stuff and the gods. That's really cool. I like that they include minor gods too. Yes, they include lots of minor gods, which is good too. They include like so many gods. I and think, like creatures, monsters. I think Rick Liam must have done a lot of research yes. to do this. Yes, he did. So I liked that in, it included the Minotaur in the beginning. That was really cool. The, like almost everyone knows about the Minotaur, and then I also like in the end how he actually fought Hades, how he fought a god. That was really cool. Um, I also I um. It, it, at first I thought it was sad because I thought the mother died. Yes, I thought it died too. So we're gonna go to the dislikes, which we only have a couple. So my one dislike is how. Uh, the son of Herm's Luke turns evil. Like, I did not like how he turned evil, but I, like, understand that it's, like, it's, like, the main point of the story. Mm -hmm. I also dislike that, um, he's trying to, um, defeat the gods. Yes, the gods are very And I think, um, that, um, Cronus is sort of mind-controlling him. A bit. No. But anyway, that concludes our book review of Percy Jackson and Here's a Rumpus, book one, The Lightning Thief. We both really liked it, and I suggest you read it. Bye! Bye. Tune in for our next video!